Thanks for joining us tonight. A group of Somali teenagers says they feared for their lives when a Minneapolis Park police officer drew his gun and detained them last week at Minnehaha Regional Park. Video of two handcuffed teens has been viewed nearly three million times on Facebook. And now, for the first time, the boys are talking publicly about what happened in that park. Carol Evans' Danny Spiewak has more. When I was at the park, I was just trying to have a good day with my friends. Adam Gaffey wasn't shown in this Facebook video, but he was one of four teens placed in handcuffs by park police last week after someone called 911 on them. They mistreated us still, and they wouldn't listen to us. I thought it just doesn't make sense. Before police arrived, the teens say they were targets of racist threats from a white teenager. An eyewitness described the same thing. Was threatening these kids with a knife and coming at them with a garbage can, calling them the N-word. But when officers responded to the disturbance, Park Police say one officer pointed his gun in the general direction of the Somali teens. I was scared. Um, I thought that would be my last day of this world. I, th I was scared that he was going to shoot me. The Park Police chief has said officers were acting in response to the 911 caller who claimed the teens had knives and that one said he had a gun in his backpack. No weapons were found. Park police are investigating whether the 911 caller lied, which would be a crime. I think the details of the 911 call describing knives and guns uh, are what we need to investigate and get to the bottom of. But a park police spokesperson says the caller still has not been located. Through translators, the teen's mothers said their sons don't feel safe anymore. It was horrible. Uh, it, they treated our children as felons and as thugs. A spokesperson says the park board and park police apologized to families in a meeting last week, but the teens say they're still shaken. And I felt like I was discriminated and I felt like it was not supposed to happen. And I hope it never happens to anyone again. This news conference today was organized by the local chapter for the Council on American Islamic Relations. The head of that Minnesota chapter said the families are considering a lawsuit. And late this afternoon, we learned that the park board has now hired an outside third party to investigate the park police officer's conduct last week. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Danny.